Ladies and gentlemen, cuckoos and cocoa puffs, willikahoons and wild men, welcome to High Stakes Total War. This is our Altharion the Grim Invincible Tour Uress campaign where we are attempting zero defeats. It's very early. This is technically my third crack at it. And um, so far, so good. I'm feeling confident, feeling good about the situation as it is, as it is right now. We did in 11 and a half hours last Friday after I finished my Friday night shift at work. And we are going to do this campaign once a week, either Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, depending on how the chips fall for my work schedule. But uh, we're going to yeah, just one episode a week. It'll be a long episode anywhere, well, provided that we don't lose a battle, but it'll be a long episode every week. And uh, this has been fantastic because the last couple of days I've been occasionally loading up the game and just um, pining over the map gives me lots of time to study the map. But of course, this is high stakes total war. So what would a no defeats campaign be without some stakes? So here they are. These are the results from our first playthrough or our first stream. These are the these are. Um, yeah, these are the results. So if we lose option number one. Or coming in at number one was Oil It Up live on stream. This is courtesy of our good friend, the Grand Dragon himself, Morn. This was his, uh, this was what he wanted to see as one of the stipulations. I quit Warhammer for one year, nine votes. This was courtesy of Kababia, the legend. And then, of course, a 24 hour. War Tale stream, courtesy of DM Wyvern himself, flying out of the Wyvern's lair and uh, throwing that into that. And of course, we could not forget, publicly disown a DM Wyvern. Seven votes, not bad, from Auto Resolve. So what we're going to do is, for each stream, you can only do a maximum of four options on the vote. And whichever option is the lowest will be dropped and we will add a new stipulation in the following week so unfortunately auto publicly disowned dm wyvern is out of the cards though you got seven votes <laughs> um anyway uh yeah so, so those are the options uh the stream is up and you can vote now on the new options what was the new stipulation oh Yes, uh, coming straight out of the Dwarven Forge, Mr. Flint, my good friend, we may be doing a 12-hour Baldur's Gate 3 stream if we lose. So, uh, though, I, you might have been Wyvern that threw that in there, but um, yeah, I'll try and keep it, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't want to turn it into a roast, but yeah, uh, hopefully... Obviously, no one's going to pick that. No one wants to see me play Baldur's Gate 3. But those are the options. This is the campaign. Guys, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun last week. And I am, like, I, I, the temptation to play this right now is so high. But I, I want to take my time with this. I want to do it right. I have a lot of plans. Uh, the groundwork is laid out. I couldn't be happier with the situation as of right now. I mean, things have progressed slowly, but uh, the campaign, I believe, we are uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. The Tour of Fresh has some very curious campaign uh, mechanics. I'm really interested in in uh, pushing the Mistwalkers to their limits and uh, using those as, um, yeah, I, I've got some big plans for the Mist. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say big plans, but I have plans for the Mistwalkers. But so far, so good. Lots of work to do. Obviously, we're only, you know, a couple of inches into this. And the Immortal Empires map, it is a big map. So plenty of, plenty of opportunity for failure. So uh, get your votes in, guys. I'll see you soon ragnarok signing out